Hey, what's up? It's cheap beer for you to drink. I am JJ. Joining us once again, Tony. Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going? This is uh, oh, a beer that you've had, but it's been a while. It has been a while. This is my first beer. Your first beer. First beer I ever had. Um, do you remember it being a good beer? Uh, no. <laughs> you remember not liking it? I did not like it at all. I don't think... I, oh, I definitely didn't like my first beer either, which was actually a Little King's, and mm. I just made a video with my mom, which will eventually uh, come out, but uh, yeah, I had a Little King's, and it was a lot better than I remembered, so I'm hoping that's the case with this one here. Yeah, I think it will be. I think it wouldn't matter what I drank, it would probably would have been exactly. terrible. So, you know. It's the, uh, the Miller Genuine Draft. It's a cold-filtered beer. That has fre fresh draft taste. I'm just reading this packaging here. This is the older packaging, and you found the newer updated packaging. Yes, this is. They try to do like a brand revival um, yeah. back in February or so, because, you know, I think they've been struggling a little bit with sales and everything, so they decided to, you know, change things up. Still the same recipe, same flavor. So I'm told, but, you know, just different labeling, try to appeal to a younger crowd. It does. I do kind of like the look of that. I mean, this, I, I enjoy this one, too. I mean, that has an old school feel to it. And that's, I, I like that. It's just, That's what I think of when I think of MGD. I mean, it's that old look, you know. Yeah. But that's, they're trying to get to that, I think, my thought is, trying to get to that younger crowd. This looks more like your dad's beer, whereas this looks... Like something a younger person would try to drink. That's a very good point. Yes, it does. Um, it is Miller Genuine Draft, brewed from the finest malted barley, selected cereal grains, and choicest hops. Um, and then there's kind of a description of it here on the box. It says, the fresh taste of draft beer in a bottle. That's kind of the gimmick with this one. Is it supposed to taste like beer on draft? Miller Genuine Draft utilizes an innovative cold filtering process that allows us to capture fresh draft beer taste in every bottle. Unlike many beers, it's never heat pasteurized, which means it's genuinely draft beer bottled. So no matter where the night takes you, count on fresh draft taste every time. Yeah, I mean, I thought that I read that a little bit before we did this. Um, the cold filter is new at the time when this came out in 1985. Oh, nice. It's cold filtered four times, which was some kind of a proprietary thing. Um, nobody else had been doing that before. And, yeah, it's this whole new thing. They're trying to get that draft flavor, I guess. I, I wonder know. if anyone else does that now. I think it's more common practice now because it's, it's easy to do. And, you know, it's either way. I mean, you have to you pasteurize, you cold filter. They both have to be done to get the the taste right to get those proteins and the yeast to stop working so it doesn't change your flavor after you bottle it. Interesting. Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. Well, uh, let's see if it tastes like a fresh draft beer. You would think that during quarantine, this beer would have taken off if it supposedly tastes like a draft beer. Right. You would think, well, you know, people can't go out to the bars, you know. Yeah. There for that period when all the restaurants and things were closed and carry out only. If this was genuine draft, like it says it is, you think it would it would take it off. So maybe with the repackaging, it will take off. We'll yeah. see. It may be, because, you know, I, I had a hard time finding it. I don't see it too often at the stores. Um, yeah, I, luckily, I found this today at a Meijer. But my typical local grocery store, the Kroger, doesn't usually carry it. They have it for a little bit, and then it's gone. It must not be too bad. It must not be. I, I've seen it at one liquor store, and then I, I picked it up because we were talking about it, how it's been a while since you've had it, and I have never had it. And uh, that's the only place I've seen it. Thankfully, they did have it in stock, but again, they had this older packaging. I don't know. I just noticed mine. It's quite bubbly. You know? It really is. That's you know a good sign. It's kind of like how draft beers are. So yeah. That's a good sign. Do beers normally do that in the bottle that much? I don't least? know if they do it that much. It's bubbling quite a bit. More than I can recall of any other beer that I've had lately. 
All right, I'm just going to pour this in, and... Uh, oh, I'm excited, because I do like a good draft beer. I I really do, too. And I like a lot of Miller beers, too. <laughs> Miller's my... Oh, yeah, Miller's been my go-to. That's what I started with, was... You know, I started with this. Yeah. And then, you know, typically, younger people, it's Bud Light, Miller Light, Coors Light. Yeah. I was in the, I was in the Miller Light crowd. That was my That was my beer of choice. I never was until later in life, and I'm, I'm kind of glad, because I don't know, those early beers you might have bad experiences with. Yeah. So I, I'm glad I'm just now getting into uh, Miller's. Let's try the uh, the Miller Genuine Draft. Does it smell like a draft beer? It kind of does. I, you know, it does, actually. <laughs> I'm just like really impressed by the bubbles. I don't know. It's, I'm excited. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely really good and smooth. And you know what? It does almost taste. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just. It might be a little bit of a mind trick. You know, you, you're you're wanting it to taste like draft. It might be. But you know, I want to say it does. It genuinely it, does. Yeah. It genuinely tastes like draft. <laughs> didn't even notice that I was doing that. But yeah, genuine draft. It, yeah, I mean, it tastes a little. Almost tastes a little watered down, which I don't know. I kind of have that taste with most drafts, anyways. To yeah, me, they taste just a little, little watered down, and I get that with this. Yeah, and I don't know. There's something about going to a restaurant or a bar and getting a draft beer, and it makes it really easy to go down. And this is a beer that would be really easy to go down. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, ice cold. I mean, mine's. Probably, it's not ice, ice cold, but ice cold, be perfect. Yeah. Summer day. Most definitely. Be good, really good. Uh, well, I think they they do what they set out to achieve, which is have a beer that you can enjoy at home that tastes like it's on draft, and this does. And uh, I, I recently had the Miller 64, which used to be Miller Genuine Draft 64. Hmm. But they just changed it to Miller 64, and it was really good. I, I mean, it does taste a little watered down. It's 2.8 percent alcohol because it's 64 calories. Oh, okay. But uh, this is reminiscent of that, and it's also reminiscent of a. I think it tastes like a Miller High Life, a little bit. I read, and I couldn't verify it. You know, so it's hard to verify a thing. I read on Wikipedia about this that this recipe and Miller High Life are the same recipe. It's that final treatment process that's different. And that would make sense. And then I read, too, that the original name for this was Miller High Life Genuine Draft. Really? And then they dropped the High Life part and just called it Miller Genuine Draft. Now, that's, I mean, I couldn't find more sources about that, but it makes sense because I do. I get that High Life kind of a flavor from it. Almost like a draft yeah. high life. Yeah, which I don't think I've ever seen Miller High Life on draft. Have you? No, I don't think I have. I haven't either. Miller Light, yeah, you see a lot on draft. And honestly, I really don't care for Miller Light as much as I do for High Life and High Life Light. And with this Miller Genuine Draft, I really like it. That is. It is really good. That's good. Yeah, I think I actually do. I think, like I said, I was a big. Big Miller Lite fan. Not so much anymore. I don't really drink it very often because I drank so much of it when I was younger. Yeah. I would prefer this to a Miller Lite. Most definitely. I would too. It's got, I think, a better flavor. Just, yes. Overall, I think it's a better beer. The Miller Lite is just a little little less flavorful and more watered down taste. Miller Lite, yes, does have a lot less flavor i i shot a video but it didn't get released where i compared high life high life light and miller light and miller light had the least f- flavor even mm. out of high life light too was my opinion so i ranked it last but yeah this is uh this is almost a better version i think of high life i would be nice to do a side by side with this and high life it would we might have to do that yeah this <laughs> this came out in 1985 whereas high life came out in like 
1906 or something. It's, it's been that long? It's been around forever. Wow. I didn't realize that. Um, but it has been around a very long time, so... I was very surprised by that. Huh. Mm. I would not have imagined it's been around that long, but... I mean, yeah, this one came out in 85, so it's not... I mean, it's old. 30... 30 some years old. Yeah. Don't call that old, but... Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's ancient. <laughs> <laughs> Miller Genuine Draft. This is a, a beer that... How much was your... Because you got a 12-pack. How much was that? It was marked as on sale or whatever for eleven ninety nine, so twelve dollars. Really? Yeah. That is kind of pricey. Yeah, I think it is for a twelve pack. Twelve packs, I I usually see for nine ninety nine, ten ninety nine is yeah. is a pretty popular price. Eleven ninety nine is pretty pricey, but this was also six ninety nine, which five ninety nine, six ninety nine. It's on the higher end of your typical six pack price. Yeah. But um. I mean, I would say it's worth it. But if you could get High Life, I mean, it's really similar, and High Life is usually cheaper. You can get it in a big 30-pack. Yeah, if you're going for value and just price point only, I would do High Life. Definitely. But if you prefer your beer to taste like it's on draft, and not only that, I mean, it's almost a slightly better version of High Life in general, treat yourself to an MGD. Right, I mean, it's got... Draft flavor, draft look. I mean, mine's probably a little bit bubblier than that. This is the older version. Like, yeah. they don't make this style anymore. So, yeah. it's hard to say how long that's been around when they stopped making it. So, yeah. exactly. Stop, stop shipping them out. So. Uh, the Best Buy date is only two months later than yours. This is May, and I think yours is July. Okay. So, I mean, it's still fresh enough. They actually, the other... I had to go to the back to get this one. The one that they had in the front of the case was expired. So I'm like, ooh, I wonder if they have a, a fresher one. Thankfully they did. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm i uh, I'm glad we picked this up. Yeah, I know. I was surprised when you asked me to do this. I'm like, you haven't done MGD? No. It's, it's a cheap beer. There's only so many cheap beers. I mean. True, but like you said, it's not one you see often. Yeah, that is. And so I kind of I kind of forgot about it. Yeah. Until I found Miller 64, looked into it, because I'm like, MGD 64, I remember that. And then I was like, oh, Miller Genuine Draft. Yeah, like, I don't, you're right. It is one of those things you just kind of forget about. And, you know, maybe a lot of people had it a long time ago, you know, or used to seeing this style and everything. Um, you just forgot about it. Like, I, since, they probably might have had it since my first time, and maybe a few times before that. But other than that, yeah, I don't ever get it. I don't ever don't think about it, just walk right by it. And hopefully with this new packaging, it'll stand out and you'll be like, oh, Miller Genuine Draft, let me pick that up instead of this Miller Lite or right. whatever other beer. Yeah, I don't know. It looks new, different. I'm mean, just what I'm thinking, like all these new, you know. It almost looks like a yingling now that I see that. Uh, the, the, yeah, the eagle, eagle on, on the front. Yeah. It's, it's definitely catchier. Yeah. It's simple, plain, you know. It's basically the small red logo that's on the front, but just enlarged on the whole bottle. Yeah. All right. It's uh, it's cheap beer for you to drink. Tony, thanks for coming on again. No problem. Thanks for having me. Definitely. Next time, uh, we'll have to find another beer that maybe we've forgotten about. But... I know. There's so many. I know. Probably something we've just walked by a hundred times and don't even think about it. Exactly. Uh, leave your favorite beers down below if we have not reviewed it yet it is cheap beer for you to drink leave your likes comments really appreciate you guys subscribe if you have not already it's cheap beer for you to drink thanks for watching